hey welcome back today we're going to be making doors we're going to make uh, doors in place the easiest way to make large doors you don't have to lift them you're only lifting the individual pieces let's take a look these doors here total width over eight feet height is eight feet and they're made in place we're gonna go ahead and do that today in this opening here okay i'll show you what we've done already we've got our hinges in place here you can see them here and you can see them here i used through bolts hinges these are for normally for gates heavy gates what i've done is drilled a hole all the way through my 4x4 and my cladding and you can see it comes out on this side over here that just sits on now look at the amount of play that's in these uh, hinges the problem with building them off off the hinges or off site and then try to hang them is that you're going to have a problem more than likely with your reveal and check this out building them in place makes them perfectly level at the top the reveal is um, the same from top to bottom and my bottom of course is the same all right so we're going to go ahead and make these today again it's the easiest way to make large doors and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure from this spot right here approximately a quarter inch in from the turn here from the angle all the way over to the other side to the same location right there and we're going to cut a two by six and we're going to hang that two by six on these hinges so the weight of the two by six actually pushes the hinges down good and you see the play in the hinges all right so that weight of that two by six is actually going to keep those hinges in a downward position all right and we're going to do the same thing on the top and then we're going to attach them in one location we're going to use the nearest hole to the hinge and we're going to attach it with a carriage bolt and we're going to kind of leave it loose all right so everything is loose here the hinge obviously has its play the two by six is going to be a little bit loose here on the hinge and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to put our upright pieces in and at the end we're going to cut the whole door right down the center and that's going to give us our perfectly lined up hanging doors with no sag i'm going to go ahead and get these measurements and we're going to start attaching that first two by six in all right got our two by six cut i'm gonna put it in here check on the end here all right take a clamp we're gonna clamp that into position down a little bit right there okay okay we got both sides clamped and we are level with our first cross member okay so i'm gonna go ahead now and drill through here put a bolt in
we'll hammer that in in a second. Come down the other end. Get that one in. Okay, we have the the upper cross member in place. Got it clamped in. I go up there and drill in my last holes in the strap. Again, then put the carriage bolts in there. And then I'm ready to find the center. And then mark off half inch from each side of the center and start putting on my um, cladding. So our opening's 85 and a half. So we're gonna find a halfway point of 85 and a half, which is 42 and a half, 42 and three quarters. We're gonna go to the center and mark 42 and three quarters. Then we'll mark back on each side of that half an inch. And there's the gap between the, the doors. Okay, we're gonna put our first board on, plumb with that line. I'm going to raise it up so it's three quarters of an inch below the header and we'll attach it top and bottom. We're using six screws in each board. And that's the first board of the right hand door. So we're gonna work our way that way. And we're gonna work our way that way. And finish these doors up. Okay, this one we gotta pinch into place. Okay, go ahead, push, push. Keep going a little bit more, a little bit more. So our last board, we're gonna have to rip down here and we gotta drill two holes for the bolts that I have through already. The other bolts are gonna go through the cladding. Okay, we gotta rip this down. I'll measure that and put the board into place and hit it with a hammer and mark my bolt locations.
So I'm going to go six and three eighths on the width of our board. So I'm going to go six and three eighths. That'll give me a slight gap over here. And this is going to be trimmed off on the inside to keep the snow and rain wind out. So it'll be trimmed off on the post. All right. So that'll come over the top of that gap. Okay, we got our piece cut down. We'll place it in place here. And go ahead and tap where the bolts are. And you can see the dimples. Hey, flip the board over so we don't have tear out. So there's our last board. You see the bolts coming through the hole there that I cut out? And now what I'll do now is when I get done with these, I'll meet you on the other side of the door and then we'll put the rest of the carriage bolts in and then we'll cut our angle piece angle piece on both doors going this way. Go on the other side now, tighten them up. Now let's take a look. I'm gonna go on the other side, put the nuts and washers on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my, my bracing. Okay. Remember with bracing, you always wanted to lean it in from the bottom hinge, like we did over here. There's the bottom hinge. You want the bracing leaning in. So you want all the weight of the door down here to the bottom, not on the top hinge. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on the other side, get those um, tightened in. Then I'll come back out on this side and I'll show you how I'm putting the bracing in. So you can see what I've done here. I've temporarily attached my bracing here. I got it lined up right here with this edge. Got it lined up down here with the bottom corner of my cross member. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mark the backs. Now I wish somebody made a pencil had a right angle on it. That'd be much easier. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and use a chalk line and rub it along the back end. And then I'll use that. Once I get this one cut out, I'll flip it around, see if it works on this side. If it works on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one as a pattern and cut the next one out. You can see how that turns out over here. So you can see I have a pretty good impression here with the chalk. Okay, there's my cut. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to see if it works on the other side. And she does. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one as a pattern for my other ang my other um, brace. And that gets, that gets finished being screwed in on the other side along the whole entire brace to hold the uh, boards also against the brace. Okay, so let's take a, big, take a look at this. Looks pretty good. I still got a few more little cuts on my uh, door I just built. I got to cut my top angles. You can see them here on the other one. Over here, I gotta cut those. And I gotta cut my bottom off. So that's even with this other door. We're gonna get uh, four or five inches of uh, crushed stone put in here as a floor in these two sections. So that's why I'm leaving this up off the ground so far. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go up there and show you how I am working on the tops. Okay, up here where I'm gonna have to cut this door here I was gonna lay a board on there and I'm going to mark a line along that board and there it is I'll go on the other side and mark that angle over there and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be ready to uh, cut this door in half. Okay, I'm up here at the top cross member. I'm going to put my square on there. Anyways, put my square on there. And I'm gonna cut a, cut along those lines. And if I did this correctly, there should be no weight, no pinching when I cut this. All right, let's see how I did. And cut through and did not pinch see it I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one off
And there we go. Looks pretty good. And you're all thinking, wait till you do the bottom. All right? Well, let's see what happens. pinch and you look at the gap it's just my kerf of the blade so these are swinging clear so I just gotta go ahead and cut this one now I like it. 